Uh, my name's Nicole. I'm a custodial correctional dog handler. Uh, since my graduation, I've been deployed at Walston Correctional Centre as a pad dog handler. So I have a pad dog. He's operational, so Luca's operational. Um, my GP dog, Uno, he's a development dog, so currently he's not signed off or operational, which means I can't respond to incidents in centre. So I'll go on course in February for 12 weeks. Once he's done, we can get both get signed off and then we're fully operational. They both have their pros and cons. Luke is very relaxed, very nice and calm. Uh, Uno is a little bit more hands-on and full-on. So Luke has been operational within centres. He's assisted uh, other CCOs in searching units. He searches visitors during personal visits day. We search deliveries coming in and out of the centres and we also search um, perimeters and internal foot patrols. Uh, I wanted to be a dog handler mainly because getting paid to hang with my dog is really exciting. Aside from that, just like to challenge myself. Um, you're working with a live animal. If you're thinking about becoming a dog handler, I would think very long and hard about whether or not it is the right job for you. It is a lot of work. See the truck and see that we get a dog and we, at the end of the day, my job doesn't finish when I get in the car to go home. I get home, I have to run my dogs, I have to look after them. It is pretty much a 24 seven job. So before corrections, I did retail management. So the biggest difference is probably the day-to-day -day conflict that you have, um, but also you're still delivering customer service when you work for QCS. So you're delivering needs for the prisoner. Um, QCS is very focused on that. Of course, they're very focused on rehabilitation. So it's learning how to deal with different people. So it does relate to retail management in some ways. I like that every day is a little bit different. 